Yeah, yeah. Lethal Weapon. John Blackman. <laughs> Already, usually if I'm playing a beat em up and it says it's Sega in front of it, especially in the 90s and especially the late 90s, you're gonna be in good hands and you cannot be in better hands than Die Hard. Or, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dynamite Decca, the Sega Ages version of Dynamite Decca. By the way, I'm at my muscles high on the guy. You gotta get out of get her out of there as soon as possible. We're gonna use Dynamite to get her out of there safely as possible. So for those that do not remember, this was a remake, remaster, I'm not sure, of, of Die Hard Arcade slash Dynamite Decca. It, they did not get the name, the, the usage of the name Die Hard in Japan, so it's just called Dynamite Decca, Dynamite Cop. Um, weirdly enough, this version the main character, the main male character, looks more like Bruce Willis than he does in Die Hard Arcade. It's crazy. Bruno Dillinger is. John McClane is Bruce Willis. So to make this easier on ourselves, we are going to go into, where is it? Not Altered Beast mode, that's something else. Uh, the reason why you want to go in here is because the game by default gives you only four credits. Uh, four lives. That's not four continues. It's four lives, and you cannot beat the game. I cannot beat the game in four credits, so... Eh? Oh, boo! Oh, I'm so Speech. bad. If I was in charge of a submarine, Speech. I would be the worst at it. Here, here we go, here we go. That's one credit. <laughs> We only have Speech. to do this, like, I don't know, 20 more times? Game over. Oh, they booted me out. Oh. Let's try again. Let's do better. Let's do better. Okay. All right. Uh. 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 So you got to lead your shot. Boom. See? See, kids? Boom. Boom. That's how you get the sugar, and that's how you get the power. Boom. So, yeah, I think this is actually the same game. They just retextured everything and uh, did better lighting and stuff. Actually, it looks quite nice on the PS2. This is late era PS2. This is 2006, it said. So the first time I played Die Hard Arcade, I was, I was fucking blown away, honestly, because I hadn't seen a 3D beat-em-up yet. And this is 96, originally. So this was essentially the 10th anniversary version. Um, so yeah, 3D beat-em-up heading is Gekito wasn't out, Fighting Force wasn't out. That seems great. And if you've... I'm, I'm assuming most of you have seen this game, but if you have not, it's really interesting the way they do things. Like, they thought, how do you actually make a 3D beat-em-up work well? And essentially, you're just going from large room to large room and clearing enemies out. And you have, like, a little hallway sequence in between. And it just kind of presents set pieces, like little dioramas almost. Uh, where there ought to be like some type of gimmick, weapons as we can see. You, no one gets beaten like they get beaten with a broom, I think. We're gonna purposely try to fail these, because if you fail them... Ah, fuck. I don't understand what the prompts are and they're, they're, they're random. If you fail them, you get an extra battle out of failing them. And you kind of want to do that because the game is really, really short. Um, but essentially these are uh, events that are quick and you have a certain amount of time to do them. So they're called Fast Finger Fighters. Uh, that's what they're called, the official name. Yeah! And the great thing about Dire Arcade, uh, Dynamite Cop, uh, Asian Dynamite, which I, I will probably play at some point. That's the, the weird sequel that, like, never got released in the West, I think. It only got released in the arcade, so I want that grandfather clock. Amazing! Baby Huey here. You know, he, he kind of unsettled me with his movements. Ugh. Yeah, nothing quite hits like a grandfather clock. I could say I could tell you that for free. 
boom, boom, boom. Some fun. Oh, here we go. Where is the president's daughter? Where is she? Does anyone know where she is? Oh, she lives in a drawer. So it's actually cool that you start at the top of the building and you're working your way downwards to find the president's daughter. I don't know why she's here. Wah! So yeah, another cool thing is like, I guess because they thought Die Hard, um, you kind of get beaten up as you keep going. Yeah, Mason, your eye. You, you get beaten up as you go along. So I'm going to lose my jacket. My clothes are going to get shredded up, which I actually really like. If I was to make my own beat em up like totally by my ooh, giant swing, if I was to make my beat em up from the ground up, like I'm in charge of everything, and and for the takeover, I'm just I just kind of help out, kind of produce it. Whereas like uh, the main designer Pelican does all does all the main stuff. Um, if I was to make a beat em up, it would be 3D one because no one's really doing that, and you can just do certain things that you can't. <laughs> I can do the duck walk. We're gonna take this. Yeah! Someone ran over Rikishi in the parking lot. <laughs> See, I do I do a 3D one because you're everyone's still kind of doing 2D. And I really think you can do some fun stuff. Like having a damage model on your character. You can do that fairly oh my god. You do that fairly easy. You can do lots of stuff. And I really think. Uh, Die Hard is a good way, Die My Cop is a good way to sort of model your game after. I also feel, I will talk about this a thousand times before I die, uh, Final Fight Seven Sons. Or, if you want a, a closer thing in that, in that like, vein, uh, the arcade mode of Final Fight Streetwise. Not the story mode, the arcade mode. Which I should actually play, I think, uh, on, on the channel. Anyway, shit. And it's certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not quite what Get Keto did. Not quite what uh, Fighting Force did. It's a smarter solution, I think. I don't know why these firemen are so out to get me. Not, I, I'm assuming they're the terrorists, just dressed up like firemen. I don't think the firemen went rogue. All right. Nope. Failure. Oh, F mission failed successfully. So yeah, most of the time you'll just look funny, and I think that's a bit more entertaining than nailing it. And you get less battles. Oh, this fucker's so tricky. He's doing stop, drop, and roll with a gun. How many guns does this dude have? Well, what I don't like about this. Oh Jesus. Um about uh, these games in general. It's like, no character names. You can give them, you can give them, give them the dignity of a name. You know? Is that really so hard, Sega? Yeah, the bathroom, where surely the president's daughter is, is here. So in the bathroom, they have regular bathroom stuff, like kendo sticks, uh, an RPG, no, like a howitzer, or whatever the fuck that is. I think it's a howitzer. No, 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 no. no, no. I, I, I do forget a few button combinations in this game. I'll probably like fall into it by accident, but we can also arrest people. I don't I think it's I think it's past that time. Uh oh. Yeah, there's some martial artists that were just, you know, you gotta go, you gotta go. So they're just here, and the amount of weapons you get here to take care of most of these dudes. That's the other thing I really like about um most th that's the thing I missed in Spike Out when we played Spike Out a few months back. Uh, no weapons, so which was a huge letdown. So I much prefer the way Sega was doing. Why? Why they went for more Dynamite Cop? Like you know, after Die Hard, and they just did the straight up Dynamite Cop game. And why they just didn't make a Streets of Rage with the same team? I'll ne I'll never know. Like, good uh, good for you for creating another franchise, but I'm not sure if how many legs that franchise had. Oh, can I catch it? What? 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 <laughs> so yeah, you fight you fight this uh, <laughs> stripper from a G GTA game. Uh, 
nice alien front poster on the Dreamcast over there. Was there an alien front online for the PS2? Because this is 2006. So that's either ass that they just carried over or they... I don't know. So I, I am doing pretty good on lives. Uh, credits, whatever you want to call them, but... It's only later it is, does the game ramp ramp it up. I have to fight robots and shit? Yeah. Yeah. John McClane fighting robots. I'm not sure how well that would go. For the robots. Oh god! The robots are like, my our ears are burning. Oh my god. They always do. It's, it's a very Sega thing. You know, they'll throw robots at the end of those and you give them Streets of Rage. Oh my Jesus. And look, can you not have put these life bars down below? I'm just saying. This game is really fun, but there's some weirdness. Yeah, yeah. What's on TV? You. Or I should have said, uh, it's prime time, bitch. I don't know. I'm not sure if prime time is even really a, a word you can even say anymore, an expression. It's stream time. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's a chapter something done. Now we're going back up into the building, so I don't know. Shoot them yet. Police are moving in. Now get to the lobby. Does this guy even have a name? Why isn't that safe open yet? Shh. Hey. How's she breathing? Does she have a juice box? How's she getting through this? This is traumatic. Yeah. We don't see this dude. He's just crawling in. Yeah. yeah. This is a tough room if memory serves. Uh, uh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to go over here. Uh, sorry. Line them all up. And no, I did not want to pick that up. That's one thing, though. If weapons are too close together, you'll always pick up the one you don't want. Ah! Amazing. Amazing voice acting. And the amount of uh, brawlers that we play on the channel before, and a couple of 3D ones I wasn't even aware of. Um, I don't know, it's just like, it just, Sega kind of nailed it on these. I still haven't played Slash Out, to be fair. But what, so they made, so, Sega specifically, Die Hard Arcade, this one doesn't really count because it's more or less a remaster, but Die Hard Arcade, Dynamite Cop, then, uh, Asian Dynamite, which, yeah, I, I do have to play that one. Then, Spi then I think there's at least two versions of Spike Out in arcades. Then there's Slash Out. Now, Spike Out Battle Street on the uh, Xbox, I don't know if that really counts, because A, wasn't made by Sega, and B, it's, like, not super good. I much prefer the arcade version that we played. All right, how are we doing? Yeah, walk two feet, find another stripper, gotcha. That is such a... Like, it's... it's She's giving me, like, Trish Stratus vibes with the cowboy hat. What? Was I throwing pepper at them? Uh, 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 uh. That is, uh, that is a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Lethal weapon. John Blackman. <laughs> Fuck you up. Is there a Christmas tree in the background there? So is this Christmas theme now? There is snow. There is a, a level later that has snow. So confirmed, this is a Christmas game. There we go. Oh, into the water. She's drowning. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for the sprinklers. We're gonna lose this. Failure. Nice. That's what we want. Yeah, see it three times just in case you missed it. What the fuck? I think you got your sports mixed up, buddy. Your lucha football? That is one big bitch of a fish, baby. This guy's quite large himself. Why did he take no damage? Oh! Johnny Maximum over here. Yeah, that fish is monstrously large. It, you know, missed opportunity to not have uh, semen. Uh, back there. 
The Dreamcast game was years old by the time this remake was made. So you won't, why not? And that's all that this aquarium has. Just that one big Chad fish. All right, guns. You know, I don't care how good your football gear is. Usually a pistol <laughs> will solve it. We'll penetrate that armor. Oh shit. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. It seems that there's always way more moves than you'd expect, but you're not exactly sure how to do any of them. Oh, yeah, punch it in the ass. I mean, it's a sacred technique passed down through uh, many big fighting lineages. Okay, we're not gonna, like, kill that fish. It seemed like a problem. It's taken you so long to get rid of those SWAT guys! Those SWAT guys! <laughs> What's in there? The Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> Alright, this is the way to next stage. I I mean, wouldn't our intel be... Oh yeah, there you go. And those shoes in the traditional John McClane way. Yeah, burn these guys. Oh wait, this fucking satellite dish. The snow looks amazing, though. Look at this game. Look at the snow layer way in the background. Unlike the one in the foreground, it's stupendous. And we're getting desperate. If you're using a lighter, if you're using a lighter and a uh, hairspray can to fight now, at this stage, like, you're, yeah, you're getting desperate. I guess it is kind of diehardy, like, using what is available to you. We'll arrest someone. Hey, McLean. I mean, hey, Dillinger. So you uh, killed 302 terrorists, but you arrested two. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail this. Uh. <laughs> I did take damage, so that sucks, but... Hey, we get to fight some robots on the side of a building. You know, diehard shit. Yeah, it's just probing me at this point. I'm just letting it. I'm just letting it. There's not much I can do. It's cold. I have no shoes. I can dash, but there's quite a... a quite a lead-up in animation for it to, like, uh, trigger. I wish there was, like, a little evasive roll, like, up and down. Maybe there is, and I don't know the button combination. Well, that's a lot of gold bullion. Green shirt guy just killing it as always. Eh. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is what is the situation here? Yeah, so now I have the howitzer. Because that's how this fight will go. No, no, no. No! Please! Not this, like, anti-aircraft gun that you have. Our martial arts is good, but not that great. No, kid. What? So the cat has found the mouse. He's not trying to say he's the cat, is he? All right, this little section. I do want to get these and not get hit by uh, these uh, elevators. I don't know what's following. Pills? First aid? It's just life up. The, the game could use a bit, a few more sections like this where you're just, you know, dodging or doing something. Like, the QTs are fine, but... Alright, is this the president? No, when they say the president, this is just a random tower in the city. Nakatomi Plaza 2, the sequel. But, they, do they mean the president of a company, or do they mean THE president? Because if it's just a random company president, who cares? Oh, no. no, please! Not the- not the rocket launcher! Oh, th this rocket launcher reminds me I need to get back to, uh... Uh, Earth Defense Force 5. 6 is coming out later. Looking forward to that. Maybe I'll maybe we'll enlist uh, Uncle Derek. That's the real Hell Divers. You know it. You know it's true. I'll divers ripped it off. No, I'm just, I just, I'm just playing. All right, let's fail this. Yeah, nice. Look, okay, you can see me caught in 4K, slipping on my own balls. I don't know who these dudes think they are. Oh, with the striped pants. 
they're, they, they are doing gun katas, so I'll give them that. Ow! I fell this. Oh, God! Oh, my back! Don't look at me! <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be cameras everywhere in this building, so there's recorded footage of of my cop character, Bruno Dillinger, just falling flat on his asshole. Like, in every room he goes into. <laughs> It would probably look really bad, like all the other cops in the precinct are just like, Yeah, Bruno! That's, that's a big fire. I mean, Kevin Nash? Oh yeah, I got this! What a pittance! Why is he so tall? Alright. Get up. Can I not- is he like the Fury if I destroy his backpack? He'll like blow up into a giant fire face? Like, ooh, look how large this man is! Why has he gotta be like that? Uh. Two hours later. The final insult is just throwing your gun. I knocked his block off! That was his head for a second. I was getting really hyped, but... Why? He's got... He's got a spinning lariat? Alright. It's with all the frogs. I mean, I like it. Love that banjo frog everyone's going nuts for. Just in time. <laughs> this whole building will explode in five minutes. But you won't live to see it anyway. <laughs> Why is that? I love how that dude was just spread eagle. He's presenting on that. Like he didn't have his feet up in on the desk in a cool geese Howard way. Alright, I got I'll use the golf club, the most noble of weapons. And who is this dude on the painting? Is that Pitbull? Mr. Worldwide? Life is not a waste of time, and time is not a waste of life. So let's stop wasting time, get wasted, and have the time of our lives. All right, all right gun. He, he can't block gun. Why is he not taking damage, though? That's a bit concerning. Unless he has... Ow! I don't... Unless he has a hidden health meter that we can't see. That's possible. All right, there you go. Ach How is that... Psycho Mantis? Oh! Nice. Never give up, kids. I know I say give up a lot, but don't give up when you're in... when you're fighting in the, the, the president's boardroom, meeting room, in Nakatomi Plaza 3, and some guy's got you in a grapple. Just do a hurricane kick. You'll be fine. Oh. Uh, he's dead. Like, his body's disappeared. He's vet. What?! How did I let this happen? Oh my god. Damn you! Oh, this is way more epic though. Gotta give it up. Look at the lighting. It looks amazing. Like, wh why they released this? Like, the Sega Ages collection is like weird. There's some good stuff there and there's some absolute trash garbage poop. There's, what, that horrible 3D remake of, um, Golden Axe. That is like, that, that is like, so horrendous looking that it's, that, that 3D video games were a mistake based on that alone. Like, if that was your case study, why games should have stayed 2D, that would, that would be fucking it. Uh. Alright, I think I can do this 15 credits, right? He is blocking a lot of the bullets. And I, I honestly forget if he has another phase after this. But even if he does, I think I think we'll be okay. Who is driving this uh, helicopter, though? You want to help? Can you shoot the guy with the swords, please? Come on. At least the little girl should push him off the side of the building. Please tell me we get to, we get to push this guy off the building. No? Shit. Thank you! <laughs> That's it. That's all I get. He's, 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 Bruno Dillinger's like, hey, no problem, kid. But I would like that reward dedicated to the player and the developer of the original game. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I think this is remastered by another group within uh, Sega.
And I think that's kind of it. I'm not sure. I, I want to say that there's no, like, you know, ending cinema. I don't think there is. And throughout the 90s and even the early 2000s, like, in terms of ripping off, like, movies and other IPs with, like, various characters and bosses and stuff, Sega did not give a shit fuck. It's crazy. The balls on these guys. And I still forget who this chick is. She's cool, though. I could have I could have taken her. 20 coins cleared, 21 minutes. Uh that's my PB. I don't think anybody can beat it. <laughs> Literally, hey, I got deadline mode, which I don't understand what it is. So yeah. Dynamite Decca Sega Ages game over. Uh do let me know what you thought in the comments if you like to see some more 3D beat-em-ups. And until then, make sure to die hard. Come, come, come.